when cosplay does not feel real enough and mixed martial arts is not extreme enough for you, you may want to take it to the next level, or even the level beyond that, and try full contact medieval armoured combat. The people who compete in this sport dress in full sets of medieval armour, made from hardened steel, stainless steel and even titanium, and use various kinds of weapons ranging from two-handed axes, swords and pole arms, to single-handed weapons and shields. All combatants use historically accurate reproductions of medieval armour and weapons in combat, but just to be clear, all weapons have been blunted. What I personally found most interesting about this form of combat sport was the way they fought, which looked so real and so brutal, like they were holding nothing back on their swings, and impacting with such brutal force. The main combatant in these videos is Simon Rorich from America, who has been fighting in this sport since 1994, and during that time has been a world champion and won many medals from around the world. Now I know Simon might look like a character like the Mountain from Game of Thrones, because he is big and strong and wears medieval armour and fights with swords and axes in combat. But understand, this is just what he does as a hobby. He is actually an IT professional, inventor and entrepreneur. He only looks like the mountain on weekends. When it comes to 1v1 battles, the match is scored from hits, trips, throws and disarms, but you can also win from a submission or knockout. This sport is considered the most dangerous and aggressive medieval fighting format there is, which I can easily believe, as they don't seem to hold anything back when they swing, or where they hit. Now the armour does block most of the damage, but Simon told me the impacts do hurt. Simon has received a wide array of injuries over the years, such as twisted knees, concussions, heavy bruising, stitches, broken bones, and he even lost a finger. Now I know some of you are probably thinking, why participate in such a brutal sport? Well for the most part, the people who compete in these battles are doing so for fun and glory, sometimes for small cash prizes or armour, and sometimes to qualify for the national team to represent the USA overseas in the World Championships. But regardless of why they do it, all physical sports are hard on the body. It just happens to be that this sport looks more brutal than most. So the next time you see a tall muscular man wearing a suit and working with computers, ask yourself this question, I wonder what he does on the weekends. Because Simon takes being a weekend warrior to a whole new level. Anyway, that's the end of this video, thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye-bye.